What's up guys, thanks for tuning back in. I think I have discovered very possibly the biggest man-child snowflake of all time and space. At least the biggest one on TikTok. This guy has almost 5 million followers on TikTok and uh, over 50,000 on YouTube. So, you know, he's pretty fucking popular. This guy is a big inspiration to people. He's an icon. Uh, of uh, getting offended by everything and being a little bitch. And if you ever want to challenge his ideas or maybe suggest uh, that maybe he, you know, shut the fuck up or, uh, you know, go fuck himself, you can't because all of his comments are turned off on all of his TikTok videos because this guy can't handle criticism. He can dish it out plenty good, but uh, he can't take it, you know, uh, being that he's a little snowflake cunt and all. I am, of course, talking about John Robert Bell. Emperor of Snowflakes. This man not only is a snowflake, he creates snowflakes too. He teaches his followers what is offensive that day, and also how they should be offended by it. You don't have to worry about what's right or wrong when you're watching John Robert Bell, because John Robert Bell will just decide that for you. He decides what is right and wrong. You thought it was God that decided that? No, my friend. Uh, God is homophobic, and we do not shop with God anymore. John Robert Bell is also known as Jerobe, so I'm just gonna call him that for the rest of the video. So today we are checking out some of Jerobe's most uh, enlightening videos that he's made on his account. The first video is him acting out a hypothetical scenario of someone saying the R slur. In case you didn't know, by the way, uh, the R slur is very offensive. Hey, I need to talk to you about that time you called that guy the R slur. The R slur? Really? Come on. It's not like that guy was actually, you know. You mean someone living with an intellectual disability? Okay, let's pretend we know they aren't. It's still not a word we should be using. But why? When I say to someone, I mean it more like stupid or annoying. I'm not making fun of people who have a disability. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the exact standpoint that everyone who says that word has. No one's making fun of mentally handicapped people. That's really fucked up. That's what assholes do. But when I refer to something as retarded or like a situation as, you know, that's pretty fucking retarded. That's not ableist. That's just me using a word. I can say whatever I want. You can say whatever you want. Here's a bright idea. How about we all just mind our own fucking business and then uh, we don't have to get offended for other people at that point. I know that's a foreign concept to people like this guy, but you know, I think it would make the world a better place. And I don't think you would ever call someone with an intellectual disability or a member of the neurodivergent community the R slur. Because I wouldn't. And that's great. But do you see how calling anyone a word that is associated with those communities as a way to insult someone could perpetuate negative ideas around what are already marginalized communities of people? I suppose, but that was never my intention, I swear. I don't think it was your intention either. But now that we've had this talk and it seems like you understand the harm that it can cause, I do. The onus is now on you to not continue saying it. The self-righteousness in this guy's voice, man, it, it's just... Oh, God. How does this guy fucking take his own voice? Does he listen to himself with earplugs in? Does he have to have noise-canceling headphones when he records his videos? How does he listen to himself talk? I'm not even going to go into the details of why this video sucks. My main question is, how do you keep up with all the words in this world that are uh, counted as offensive? Because yesterday we called people mentally handicapped and now today we call them mentally divergent. What the fuck does that mean? Who came up with that word? Yesterday the word queer was offensive, now it's not offensive, it's like a sign of empowerment or something. I can't keep up, man. Honestly, that's the main reason why I just, I say all the words. I say all the words I want, you know? Because I, I just can't keep up. I can't keep up with what isn't offensive today and what is offensive tomorrow. There's too many things. My brain just cannot remember all of those things. Now we get to see Jerobe complain about a literal teenage boy saying how he doesn't like girls who put their personal pronouns in their TikTok bio, which is probably the dumbest thing that humans have ever invented doing since like bloodletting. Keep in mind, this guy is like 32 years old and he's getting offended by a teenager making a joke about personal pronouns. I don't mean to sound offensive to neurodivergent people, but I would say that's pretty fucking retarded right there. <laughs> So a lot of people were reacting to this video, and I figured I would too. First things first, I want to say that I'm very glad that he respected her, she, her pronouns by saying in her bio. And while I could make the jokes that basically write themselves from a video like this, I'm going to do something else. 
Let's talk about why it's actually really important that we do normalize listing pronouns, whether it's in a bio or on a name tag or on a business card, whatever. Hi everyone, my name is Count Black and my personal pronouns are uh, gay boy. I identify as a half-eaten cantaloupe. All jokes aside, did he literally just say we need to normalize putting our personal pronouns on name badges? What is this, Nazi Germany or some shit? Does he not understand how fucking stupid that sounds? What, are we gonna put our race on there too? This sounds like something Michael Scott would come up with. Jesus Christ. If we ever come to that point in society where we walk around with our personal pronouns pinned to our chests, I will personally take the liberty of killing myself. This guy has to be the most infuriatingly annoying and soft person I have ever ever seen. This next video is about him complaining about two teenagers who are, well let's just say playing a prank on their teacher. Keep in mind again that Jerobe is 32 years old and this is what he does for I presume a living. So yeah, I, I think he needs to go get a life. Actually, I'm gonna point out one thing before we start this video. I don't know if you guys have noticed but uh, Jerobe likes to do this little uh, little face of disapproval, I guess you would call it, before all of his videos. And he always has to start out every single video with his face right in the middle of the screen. I don't know why he doesn't just start off the video with his face not in the screen, you know? Um, like normal people would do it. I guess he just really likes seeing his face on camera or something. I'm not really sure, it just looks fucking stupid. So I'm honestly wondering what about this would be considered even remotely funny. Because not only did that person decide to invade her personal space, they also decided to publicly humiliate her, not only in the classroom, but on the internet as well. If y'all didn't see what was happening, that kid was sniffing his teacher's ass while she was turned around. I mean, yeah, that's fucking cringe, but I mean, I can see how that would be funny to some people. And somehow, magically, I don't know how he does it, but magically, Jerobe turns it into that guy was invading that woman's personal privacy. How is that offensive to anyone? Like, are we this soft as a civilization? We have survived, as, as a human race, we have survived famine, plague, fucking massacres, you know, uh, genocide, slavery, and, and this is where we're at? We have turned into this? This is what millions of years of evolution has brought us to? Getting offended by someone sniffing someone else's ass? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Is this guy literally this fucking soft? And I think what's most frustrating to me was that they went out of their way to be rude and disrespectful to that teacher. What would have been easier and automatically more respectful is if they had just sat there and done nothing. You know who Jerobe actually reminds me of? It's Angela from The Office. You know how she was a massive bitch who got offended by everything? That's John Robert Bell. And he also looks like a sex offender, so uh, he's got that going for him. Okay, and I will say this, you know, as a disclaimer, um, Jerobe is definitely offended by way too many things, uh, especially for a grown adult 32 year old man, but sometimes he will get it right, you know, he'll, he'll stop an actual bully, you know, there was this kid with Down syndrome that a lot of people were bullying, you know, and he got his followers to go and give that guy some support, you know, and, and they stopped the bullying. I really respect that about him, you know, I'm not saying he's a bad person, he's not, he's just offended by way too many things, you know, I uh, especially for a grown-ass adult man. I'm sure he has a magical heart of gold somewhere. He just needs to get the massive stick out of his ass. That's all I wanted to say about the guy. If he ever sees this, uh, I don't mean him any offense. I, I just think that uh, he's a, a bit of a snowflake and he needs to grow up here, you know? But no offense. This world is just getting softer and softer every single day, but, you know, I don't think I can do anything to change that. All I can do is just make fun of it with my stupid videos. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. And if you feel like it, drop a follow on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe.